The first snow is here. It's really, really pretty now. My name is Patrick. For the last five years, I've been traveling the world full time. We're at Franz Josef Glacier! I've been living what I call a different life, far away from routines and nine to five. 2020, the coronavirus brought me back to Sweden and I have paused my world traveling and decided to work as a live news reporter for the Swedish radio. But I've also had time to explore Sweden, including Lapland in the far north, where I went for an amazing 10 day hike. Wow. I've also been spending lots of time in the outdoors around where I live, enjoying our vast forests, hiking on trails and been sitting a lot around campfires. This video will be a vlog about what I've been up to since my Lapland trek in August. Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to ERV. In the past four years, they have sponsored me with a travel insurance. I'm signed up with ERV in Sweden, but they have sister companies in the UK, Germany, Italy, Denmark, Spain and Poland. What I really like about them is their flexibility. When I'm going traveling, I'm often going on adventures where I need a bit of an extra cover, like hiking on altitude or going white water rafting. With ERV, it's possible for me to sign up just for the days I need, and if I get back from my adventure earlier, I get money back for the days I didn't use. So make sure you check them out. If you're in Sweden, you go to erv.se, and for the other countries, I put the link in the description. It's October in Sweden and the autumn is here with all its color and I absolutely, absolutely loving it. This weekend we're in Fannebofjärden National Park, which is a beautiful national park, uh, northwest of Stockholm-ish. And uh, it's uh, mostly uh, about water here. We're gonna go canoeing and uh, it's uh, the uh, big river down here that's connected to all of this water as well. We're 20 minutes away from where we're gonna go and uh, pick up the canoes and then we're off out on the water. It's 7.30 in the morning and I'm off for a little trip. The first snow is here, it's almost December and now the landscape is completely white wherever it's open, like under the trees in the forest it's not white but the snow is a thin thin layer out here and it's so much lighter and so much more prettier than before when it's just this grey and brown and, and dark so it's, it's really lovely to be out walking right now uh, I'm doing a short walk today just to a lake over here and uh, yeah, it's a lovely way to spend my weekend. You can probably not see it right now on the camera, but it's actually snowing. So it's so peaceful and this snow is falling as I'm standing in the forest. It makes a really Christmassy feeling. And I'm reading about woodpeckers that lives here. They love dead trees and stuff. It's uh, a castle not far from here. And this uh, cabin is like a place where they, people living in the castle came to live more in the, in the wilderness to get like a peaceful 
uh, weekend out or something. So yeah, inside here it's locked now, but they probably have like uh, a wood fire and, and place uh, so they can heat it up. And uh, yeah, it's old style wooden cabin right in the middle of the forest uh, near this lake here that actually now has ice. Really beautiful. Today I'm going to Omberg, a big hill near Sweden's second biggest lake and it's meant to be really beautiful nature and amazing views over the lake. Right. Just picked up the rental car and uh, it's about an hour drive to Omberg and the weather is actually looking really nice. It's been really grey in Sweden but I can see glimpses of blue sky over there so it looks good. Omberg is a plateau halfway between Sweden's biggest cities Stockholm and Gothenburg. It's an area with a couple of nature reserves right by Sweden's second biggest lake Vätten. We're stopping quickly at the Rock Stone, one of Sweden's oldest stone inscriptions. It's over here. This is pretty cool. This inscription here in this stone is from the 9th century, the beginning of the 9th century. That is crazy. This stone has been, been here since before Sweden became a country. It's one of the oldest inscriptions we have in Sweden. It's called the Rock Stone. And uh, yeah, there's a inscription here about a guy whose father inscripted this as a memory of the of his dead son, and it's with with the old Viking inscription language that I don't understand anything of, but there's a sign over here that tells us the story, but it's it's really really amazing. above sea level, nothing compared to Everest, but the view is pretty good. So this landscape uh, around Omberg is uh, shaped by the uh, Ice Age era and uh, I think this is it's crazy. I never really thought of the, the Ice Age, you know, you have a kind of a like a picture inside your head what it what it's like, but this image here, it kind of kind of explains it all for me, like how crazy is this? So this little red dot is where we are right now, that's the top of the hill we were at and that's the lake at the bottom and then it's the ice. The, the ice there and over there as well and this is just like a cutout that's crazy 
hundreds of meters of thick layer of ice. What? Nuts! Absolutely nuts. me here is uh, it's like a swamp like pond like thing it's called a uh, swamp land around here can you hear the birds it's so so beautiful here This behind me is Sweden's second biggest lake and it's so big that you can't even see the other side. The water going all the way to the horizon. That's a bit mind-blowing actually because a lot of uh, countries doesn't have lakes that are not even close to this big. It's pretty cool. It's called Vetten. Wow, wow, look at this view. It's amazing. It's so, so steep here. I'm getting a little bit scared of the height. And, uh, and it's so, so pretty. The view is, yeah, it's unbelievable. I hardly believe this is Sweden, actually. This reminds me of uh, New Zealand, Australia, and all the coastline around there that I've seen. So that this is Sweden. I'm actually amazed and uh, I'm so glad we have this here and I'm also surprised why haven't I been here before um, I'm definitely definitely gonna make sure I see more of Sweden because there are places like this everywhere that just surprise you and amaze you and you'll be like why haven't I seen this part of my own country before I travel the world Wow <laughs> 